How's it going everybody? Just wanted to give you a quick update on the Pelican Paste and where I'm at, everything that's going on. First off, just want to thank everybody for the support, for the comments, for the messages, uh, the orders, obviously. I mean, y'all are, are great and have been great through this, and I'm glad y'all are liking it. And it, it it's enough to keep me going, right? There, I know there's something there. I know it's needed. And um, I'm glad y'all are into it. And I uh, can't wait to just continue this and see how far this goes uh, in 2023. But with that being said, let me update you on what I have going on. So right now, uh, as of two days ago, Saturday evening, I have a website that is live specifically for Pelican Paste. So pelicanpaste.com is live. And I did that because I wanted this to be a separate entity, I guess you could say, a separate thing, aside from my Hanes Knives. Dot com because previously that's where these were ordered from was haneknives.com and like I told y'all in a previous story I don't want to compete with you as a knife maker right you know we're all in this together where there's enough market to go around but I didn't want because the idea behind this like I shared was to send these small tins to your customers if you don't make your own already uh, just send these to your customers with their knives or their cutting boards or any kind of tools you might uh, make for them and you can be assured that your customer is taking care of or at least has what they need to to take care of their tool or their knife so if you sent this to a customer and on the back I had order more at Haynes knives that'd be competition right that would be bringing your customer to me and I don't want I don't want just don't want any friction there so the idea is to just make a pelicanpaste.com and if they needed to order more they could come uh, to a site that's neutral and still you are their knife maker right so that was the idea behind that and I think in the long run it would be business wise it's better to separate uh, it is a separate entity anyways so the site is live I've got a some very limited stock right now on there y'all have cleaned me out um you know i haven't made hundreds of these uh that y'all have <laughs> cleaned me out on so i don't want to just sound like i've sold tons and tons of this right now because i haven't uh but i've sold enough and i've done i've done better than i thought i would i'm gonna be honest with you and uh your support means the world to me but uh y'all seem to be loving uh, the pelican paste you seem to be loving the results um, I've got the orange scent in there now so I know you'll love that because I just honestly I just go by if I got one of these in my kitchen counter I walk by and just smell it man I love that sweet orange smell but anyways I've got a few of these three pack half ounce tins available and I'm gonna be adjusting pack sizes if you want to get six or ten or anything like that uh, at Obviously, that would come a lower cost per 10 the more you get. So I'll be working on that. I got these 3-ounce babies available. Look at this. Look how big that is. That will last you uh, forever. That will last a long time, right? These will be $30. These are live on the site, but with the caveat of them still being a pre-order uh, because these were supposed to be available, but I had a little issue with the sticker order. Um, if you can see, for example... The small tins, same sticker size on the top and the bottom. It's a flat bottom here. So I kind of expected that on the bigger tins. Uh, there wasn't any pictures or indication that the bottom was different. Found out they're different after I ordered the stickers. So the bottom stickers I have are too big. Uh, you see it's indented here, so I need a smaller sticker. So I ordered those. They won't be here until it says the 24th. Last time they came earlier, but obviously I can't make any promises because I have no idea. So, assuming the 24th they come in, I'll be able to start shipping these out on the 25th. So, if you order these right now, just expect they won't ship until after the 25th. Or, sorry, after the 24th. So, if you want these now, they're on the site. Order them, by all means. But just know, you just have to wait an extra week, and I apologize. I apologize on that, but... You know, you live, you learn. Um, so three ounces available. 
I love how these turn out. I think they look cool. And they're going to last a while. Also got the one and a half ounce pucks available. These are the ones just wrapped in paper. Uh, so you can take it out of the paper. And much like a bar of soap, rub it on your knife, your cutting board, your leather sheath or apron or whatever you got. Uh, these, the idea with this was anything with a bigger surface area that it would be a lot easier to apply. It. So got these available and they come in a resealable bag. I did that on purpose so you have somewhere to put it when you're done. You know, just unwrap it from the paper, use the wax, throw the paper away, put the wax back in the bag and it's uh, safe from dust or anything. You don't just have it laying around in your shop. So that's the idea with that one. So all three of these are available right now uh, with the caveat of this still being a pre-order. Um, what else? Let me show you. I got a packing station now because y'all have had to get more organized. So I've got a packing station I just built. Uh, what will be great to hold stickers and inventory and I'll be filling that up very soon. Just got it built a couple days ago. Uh, so all my supplies I can wrap up there. I'll have a printer out here eventually for the labels and it'll be nice so that is going to be a nice addition because i've just been packing you know inside on my kitchen island or something like that so it'll be nice to have one place for everything and not have a mess inside um so that's great i think that's pretty much it um if y'all have any questions uh, about the pelican paste uh or anything uh just message me. I, I get back to everybody pretty quick. Um, and if I don't, I will, I promise. Uh, I usually reply to everybody. I don't, I have, I, I'm at a point where I have a lot, a decent amount of followers, but not an, enough to where I can't keep up with the DMs. So I can, I can keep up with any questions you have. Um, and I just want to say again, I appreciate y'all support. Can't wait to see how, uh, Pelican Paste does in 2023. Um, I think it's it's better than just about any wax on the market. And I might be a little biased, but I honestly think it being a harder wax really actually does something other than polish your knife. But it actually seals the steel, protects your Damascus, um, especially when you're cutting anything acidic or wet. Um, it'll uh, definitely protect the, that high carbon steel longer than a lot of the other ones on the market because it has that harder layer of wax um, that just creates a barrier. And it's got enough um, other waxes and oils in there. When you apply it to your wood handles, um, it will rehydrate. It'll keep and seal your wood and protect it. And uh, I love this stuff. I'm, I'm super happy with it right now. And um right now i honestly can't think of anything that i would change with it right you know when you have a business or a product you always want to improve on it so maybe in the future i'll come across something that will improve it but i'm honestly right now i'm, I'm really liking where it's at and i hope you like it as well and if you um don't mind if you have this stuff share it on social media you know have hashtag pelican paste or whatever and and just let people know what you think of it and i really appreciate that you know just trying to get the ball running running trying to get the ball rolling on this small little piece of my business um it's it's fulfilling even though it's right now a very small piece i'm i'm having fun with it i'm enjoying it and i can't wait to see where it goes so if you'd share it on social you know hashtag pelican pace let everybody know what you're using it on um that'd be great and speaking of which what you're using it on uh, my wife and my mother-in-law actually started putting this on their lips, which it works actually. It's pretty good. You can see my lips are chapped, so I probably need to start using it. But I mean, it's food safe. It won't hurt. And it feels like, feels like a lip balm, right? So I don't know, just interesting. If you get some chapped lips in, in the shop or, uh, your hands get dry, it works for that too. So a little, little extra, little extra. Protect your knife, your cutting board, your knuckles, and your lips. Maybe that'll be my slogan. But anyways, I think that's all I got for you today. Uh, if I think of something else, I'll jump back on here and 
share another 10 minutes worth of stories. But uh, appreciate y'all again. Uh, and have a good one. Ask me any questions if you have any questions.